guys, it's Darren and I'm from MK822 and for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Gabriel Mistral's Tiny Feet. But before that, just a disclaimer, all of the artworks that I'm gonna show you later are all inspired from different artworks as well that I've seen on Google and from other sites that I've visited. So basically what I did was I recreated those artworks but not actually all of it and I did not copy it like detail per detail but yeah, I think that's basically it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The poem Tiny Feet is written by Gabriela Mistral. It is a heartbreaking poem that describes to us the lives of poverty-stricken children and the need for the society to help and protect them. In the poem, her views are expressed as to how society ignores child poverty. For the first illustration, I can actually say that this one is an original artwork of mine because I did not copy a thing on this one. So as you can see, it's a frightened little girl who is chained, handcuffed, and blindfolded. At the back of the girl is a big creepy bald tree, and on the upper right corner there is a demon reaching for the chain. So if you're asking me why did I came up with this illustration, it's because when I pictured it, there's this little girl who is blindfolded or scared because she she doesn't know what her future waits for her, being under the hand of a heartless monster who treats her like she's a prisoner or a puppet. The second one is an illustration of a child's feet, which is where the poem's title was taken. This symbolizes the vulnerability of a child, which literally means that they are abused and physically damaged because they are barefooted. This is my third illustration. It was actually supposed to be a road, but I don't think that I achieved it. But yeah, anyway, on the right side, there is a guy who looks like he is sleeping, but what he really symbolizes are those people who are afraid to speak up for the children because they think that they are weak, so they pretend not to see the cruelty in their society. On the left side, we can see a man wearing a suit and tie. He symbolizes the privileged ones who sees everything but chose not to bother because they have a good life or worse, some of them are behind this cruelty. In the middle, there is a girl with her mouth covered with someone's hands. This symbolizes how voiceless they were and that they don't have the option but to obey and cry. On the top of her head is a child walking with a chain ball on his feet which symbolizes that he is under someone's authority or simply a slave. This illustration is basically the representation of the types of the characters in the poem. And now we're down to my last illustration. This is actually a recreation of a painting that is being sold online. I badly want to credit the artist for this beautiful masterpiece, but sadly, his or her name is nowhere defined. In this illustration, this is what I pictured of Gabriela Mistral. She's like an angel who stood up and voiced out for those children who are victims of cruelty and for the people to open their heart and minds about what is really happening in their society. <laughs> 